Namaste, and welcome to our continuing series, the Savitri series, part 11, from Mother. Yes, the earth is a representative and symbolic world, a kind of crystallization and concentration of the evolutionary labor, giving it a more concrete reality. It has to be taken like this. The history of the earth is a symbolic history. And it is on earth that this descent takes place. It's not the history of the universal, but of the terrestrial creation. The descent occurs in the individual terrestrial being, in the individual terrestrial atmosphere. Let's take Savitri, which is very explicit on this. The Universal Mother is universally present and at work in the universe. But the Earth is where concrete form is given to all the work to be done to bring evolution to its perfection, its goal. Well, at first there's a sort of emanation representative of the Universal Mother, which is always on Earth to help it prepare itself. Then, when the preparation is complete, the Universal Mother herself will descend upon Earth to finish her work. And this she does with Satyavan. Satyavan is the soul of the earth. She lives in close union with the soul of the earth. And together they do the work. She has chosen the soul of the earth for her work, saying, here is where I will do my work. Elsewhere, it's enough just to be. And things simply are. Here on earth, you have to work. There are clearly universal repercussions and effects, of course. But the thing is worked out here. The place of work is here. So instead of living beatifically in her universal state and beyond, in the extra universal eternity outside of time, she says, no, I am going to do my work here. I choose to work here. The Supreme then tells her, what you have expressed is my will. I want to work here. And when all is ready, when the earth is ready, when humanity is ready, even if no one is aware of it, when the great moment comes, well, I will descend to finish my work. That's the story. 3rd September, 1961. You understand, if I were British and writing in English, I could try to do a book on Sri Aurobindo using Savitri alone with quotations from Savitri, one can maintain a certain poetical rhythm, and this rhythm can generate an opening. But in French, it is impossible. How could it be translated? 23rd September, 1961. There were whole sections he redid completely, which were like descriptions 
of what I had told him of my own experiences. Nolini said this, when I recently reread Savitri, some phrases were very familiar. And I said to Nolini, how odd, these are almost my very words. And he replied, but this has been changed. It was written differently. It has become like this. As the thing became more and more concrete for him, he changed it. The breath of revelatory prophecy is extraordinary. It has an extraordinary power. What struck me is that he never wanted to write anything else. To write these articles for the bulletin was really a heavy sacrifice for him. He said he would complete certain parts of the synthesis of yoga, but when he was asked to do so, he replied, no, I don't want to go down to that mental level. Savitri comes from somewhere else altogether. And I think that Savitri is the most important thing to speak about. 24 January, 1962. The mother reads, not only is there hope for Godhead's pure, the violent and darkened deities leaped down from the one breast in rage to find what the white gods had missed. They too are safe. A mother's eyes are on them and her arms stretched out in love, desire her rebel sons. Yes, that's it. What the white gods had missed. I didn't remember it, but that's it exactly. It's strange. When I read, I see only what is needed at the moment. The rest seems to go unnoticed. And then, as it's needed, it comes back. Yes, that's it. That's what just happened. It's exactly like pulling open a curtain. Everything is waiting there behind. It's difficult for me to speak during these experiences because French comes in to me more spontaneously and the experiences all happen in English. Sri Aurobindo's power is so much with them. 27 January 1962. Namaste.